Okay, now that we have our shape dimensioned, we might want to change the formatting of the dimensions, change the way they look. Uh, sometimes the text is too small, uh, or the arrows are, are too big. Other times it's imprecise or overly precise. Sometimes we want to show things in decimal points, or other times we want to show them in fractions. So we can change all that. If we go up to Format, and we click on Dimension Style, we get options for customizing the way our dimensions appear. And you can change it for different types of dimensions. And if you remember, we used the linear dimension to create our dimensions. So I'm going to click on the little plus sign, and that opens up a couple different menu options. I'm going to make my window a little bigger so you can see it. You can see the format is currently set to decimal. Uh, I'm going to leave it at decimal for right now. But the precision seemed kind of, kind of high. If we click on that, we can change to how many decimal places our dimensions will be. And I'm going to do to two decimal places. Actually, you know what? For our skateboards, let's make it consistent with our skateboards. Frequently, the most precise measurement on a ruler is 1 16th of an inch. So instead of doing decimal, let's actually do fractions. So I'm going to click on fractional and switch the precision to 1 16th. And you could play around with more of these uh, on your own. But let's, let's just make those changes and see what that does for us. So I'm going to click on the OK box right here. And there we go. Since, it's, since they're both whole numbers, there's no fraction involved. And they look really nice. You can also, from that same menu, change the size of the dimension text, um, as well as some of the other characteristics of dimensions, not just linear dimensions.